Welcome to Wolves Weekly. This is Barrett Henderson, a director of media relations here at Western Oregon University, joined uh, by Brady Bergeson and Coach. Welcome back. It's been a long break. It has. Thanks for having me back, Barrett. Well, let's go ahead and jump right into uh, last week's highlights. We'll start with uh, Thursday. Big win over the number 11 team in the country. Coach, you guys played an excellent game against uh, one of the best teams in the country. Yeah, Seattle Pacific came in here and, and um, you know, we had a pretty uh, pointed um, game plan going into that game. We felt like we knew what we needed to do. It was a matter of how well we could do it. Uh, and, um, you know, I think we stuck to that game plan pretty well. We stayed aggressive throughout on both ends of the ball and, you know, and it paid off. Uh, that's a team who can punish you uh, for mistakes and they've got a lot of firepower. They put points on the board. They're stingy defensively. Uh, I really like the way our guys have been working together and, and starting to share the ball more and more and, and uh, just work for the common good and find the open player. Uh, I think we're getting slowly uh, but surely better at that. Coach, that was a game you guys came off of a, about a 10-day break from uh, the holiday break. Was it tough to get your guys to get motivated for a game like that after that? I wouldn't say it was tough to get motivated. You know, there's always a, a variable there that's hard to account for. Uh, you know, you got guys were off for eight days, and you really have to put it on them. Uh, the onus is completely on them to, to you know, stay in shape, run a couple times, keep a ball in their hand a little bit, while also, you know, uh, having the responsibility also to shut it down a little bit but not too much. And I got to give our guys credit. You know, we talked about it a lot before we left, and, and I think we drove the point home. And, and I think we did a pretty good job there, top to bottom on that. I, and, you know, I, I can't say uh, if that was an advantage for us or not, but I can say that I, uh, I was concerned about it going in, and I was happy with the way our guys uh, came back after the break. Well, Saturday you guys respond, and uh, no team wants a letdown after a win over a, a ranked team or a big game. And you didn't have that, a Montana State Billings team that's pretty comparable to Western Oregon, a, a real talented team that's kind of on the rise right now in GNAC play, and just a, a wild double overtime win. It was a heck of a game. Uh, and, you know, you got to give uh, Coach Stevens, his staff, and his players a lot of credit uh, for fighting through that. It really was a, a slugfest. It could have gone either way. Um, but you also got to give our guys a lot of credit as well. Uh, so that's a team that, you know, their pattern's been very similar each year and that they start a little bit slow and they come on strong and strong and then stronger. So they're building uh, as we are and uh, I think we ran into a buzzsaw there with them. They give us, uh, I mean, that was just, a, a, just an absolute heavyweight fight there as far as I'm concerned. Um, but again, I thought our guys showed a great deal of grit in that game, um, you know, and we just didn't give up. You know, we talked about it after the game in terms of the huddles, I think our guys have got a lot of poise uh, under pressure and with the experience that we've had over the last uh, year or so now, um, you know, last year we lost those games, uh, it, it, you know, a lot of them. And uh, they were close and the other team would find a way to get that done and, and you know, each, uh, each night you got to go in and find a way to get it done. Uh, that night we did and we did enough of the small things and I think a lot of that came from our guys' belief and just mental toughness. Well, you saw him hit a pair of free throws there at the end of regulation, just in the game in the overtime. Rodney Webster finishing with a career high and also a team season high this year, 27 points. Uh, and he also hit a, just a, a gigantic three in uh, the first overtime, in an overtime period that you guys never even had the lead. Right, yeah. It, Rodney's done uh, some terrific things for us in pressurized situations. He's got tremendous courage. Uh, you know, this wasn't the first game he's done that, and uh, it won't be the last. But, you know, um, got to give Rodney certainly a lot of credit. What a tremendous effort. Um, uh, he made some just some great plays for us. Uh, that said, you know, we had a lot of guys doing a lot of little things, uh, just execution-wise, um, offensively, defensively, hold block outs, doing things like that. And it really took a lot of those details compiled to, to get that done. Well, we're joined by uh, one of your uh, players right now, Jordan Wiley. Jordan, how are you doing today? Doing well. Jordan, uh, first off, really appreciate you dressing up for, uh, for the show today. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Starting <laughs> to look a little bit classy here. <laughs> well, uh, Jordan, you guys are in the midst of a six-game win streak, which is the longest in the conference right now. 
Do you think anything about the streak, uh, or do you just go out there and play basketball? Uh, we mainly just go out and play basketball. Um, obviously, the wins feel nice, but uh, I think we're just taking uh, steps every game here and trying to improve ourselves and uh, get better every game. What do you think right now the, the key to uh, the success that the team's having? Uh, I think our chemistry is uh, really building as we move along this journey here. Um, once again, we're just taking it day by day. Practice is uh, good, chemistry is building, and uh, we're going to try to keep this win streak going. Jordan, um, question for you here. The first overtime, you guys, uh, like I said to Coach here, you never had the lead, and you were late or down late there in the first, uh, I'm sorry, second half uh, into regulation, but you guys never never gave up, never were out of it. Talk a little about what's going through your head there. Uh, well, you know, uh, Rodney Webster made some big plays, and uh, he's one of our energy guys, and so a lot of us just like to feed off him, and uh, he really got us going in that second half, and it was a uh, it was fun to, fun to be, be there with him. Well, uh, Jordan, last question, question here for you. Uh, who's the best coach on the court with you guys right now? Who can get out there and play with you guys? <laughs> who's the best coach? Yeah, who, who can play with you guys, compete with you? Oh, uh, Brady Bergson, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good answer. Well, Jordan, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, Coach, that's got to feel pretty good. You still got it. And it's team. good for at least five minutes of playing time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a, that's a great answer. I, unfortunately, there's no way I can compete with Tyler Cooper. He's still got a lot of game. <laughs> well, Coach, uh, GNAC action right now is really heating up all over the conference. We saw St. Martin's also beat Seattle Pacific. Uh, you mentioned Montana State Billings really heating up. It's going to be a, a fun rest of the conference season. And uh, talk a little bit about the games you have coming up. Well, I think... The GNAC shaping up to be, uh, you know, pretty wide open right now. Uh, I think there's a lot of parity. I think there's some really just tough, tough teams. Um, and, uh, I, you know, n nothing's going to surprise me in terms of, a, a, you know, a win on the road or a loss at home, you know, first through ten. And um, I, it, we just, it, it's, it's really simple, you know, to talk about and really hard to do. But you just have to be prepared to play your absolute best basketball on the night. Or, you know, each team is going to be measured on the day, and you have to be at your best on the day. There's no way around it, uh, and I think the, the conference play is going to be a, a roller coaster that way. I think it's going to be a rocky ride for everybody. You just got to be gritty and tough and hang on and, uh, and just try to be, you know, one play better than the next. Well, Thursday, Western Oregon at Northwest Nazarene, um, and then Saturday, Western Oregon at Central Washington. You can catch both those games on woolwolves.com, live video and live stats. That'll do it for this week.